Doug here from 1812 to 1820 to act as a trade route to carry cargo into London. It connects to the Grand Union Canal in Little Venice, which goes all the way to Birmingham and Wales. And then this canal travels 8.6 miles in and around London, starting in Little Venice and then going through Camden, surprise, surprise, King's Cross and Mile End, part of the two drops into the Lighthouse Basin. Which is in the London Dolphin, so boats carrying cargo can make a more go the other way as well. And a lot of the things we'll see today are to do with the Industrial Revolution and the Victorian age in London, as that's when the canal was built and its figures. But as we go, I will mention what certain areas are used for today. Coming up on the right hand side, we're just about to pass Dead Dogs Tunnel. Dead Dogs Tunnel got its name in the Victorian era when, you'll never believe this, a load of dead bodies, mostly dogs, washed up under this tunnel. It was also the James Bond film Spectre though. James Bond in the film Spectre goes in a tunnel in Pimlico on a speedboat and he comes out this one in Camden. A geographically impossible journey, but a great example of the magic of cinema and work. On the topic of cinema, the Brown Bridge building, also to the right, is Henson House and was named after Jim Henson of the Muppets. The Muppets themselves in the very first series were actually made in the top floor flat of this building, where Jim Henson had his studio in the 70s. It's also where the puppet Yoda from the original Star Wars trilogy was made. As we come through this bridge on the left hand side, we're passing Pirate Castle. Arrgh, the hearties. Pirate Castle was founded here in 1966 by Lords and Davids. Which means in a couple of decades, they'll be able to say, I matey, and really mean it, because they will, of course, be 80. That's a little pirate joke, I matey, ha ha ha. They were started to encourage children in the area to learn water sports and water safety. But they continue today, those canoes aren't just for show. They also do classes for adults in the area, if anyone's interested, including, but not limited to, paddleboard yoga. Yes, yoga on a paddleboard, but they're really ambitious. <laughs> 